Well, protests continue today over the deadly police shooting of a homeless man on L.A. Skid Row last week. CBS 2's Greg Mills is live in downtown L.A. with the latest. Greg? Andrea started here at LAPD headquarters, then they marched to Skid Row and onto Union Station where things kind of fizzled out. About 75 people gathered at LAPD headquarters downtown to protest the police shooting of a Skid Row man known as Africa, 42-year-old Charlie Kunang. If people can call it killing, we choose to call it murder. This man, who goes by the name General Jeff, says he lives on Skid Row. LAPD says they have video that shows that the guy reached for the gun. Okay, what we also, on that same video, there's audio tape of officers saying, drop the gun. So if you reach for a gun, you never had a gun. Danny Barnes just happened upon this protest. He believes black males are targeted by some police officers. We respect the police. We need the police. But there are some bad policing inside the force. And uh, it's, it's sad. From here, protesters marched down Spring Street and did a die-in at 6th and Spring, disrupting traffic for a few minutes and infuriating at least one man who told us he missed his bus because of this. Then it was on to Skid Row. Larry Boyd, who lives here, called the protest extraordinary. We need that more often, though. We do. Because uh, certain rights that are being, you know, broken and nobody's saying nothing about them. They're just turning their other cheek. One thing to note, this is not some little grassroots effort. This was organized by Occupy LA, and most of the people here are with Revolution.com. That's a group we see at protests all the time. They preach communism and revolution as the route to go. I have no idea what, who they are and what they stand for. This is a skid row matter. And LAPD says this uh, officer-involved shooting is still under investigation by them as well as a division of the district attorney's office. As for the protest today, LAPD says no problems and no arrests. Reporting live from downtown Los Angeles, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News.